Hi, today in this short video I'd like to show you how to use some of Kendo UI's MVVM tools. You can get Kendo UI by going to kendoui.com and clicking on the download button. I've gone ahead and created an MVC project. Let's start by adding some of Kendo's necessary files. Let's add the common, one of their themes, and the JavaScript file. And let's go over to our index view. What we're going to create is a super simple reminders app. Let's start by creating a script tag. Inside of here, we're going to create our view model. We're going to use kendo.observable to be able to use MVVM on this view model. First property I'm going to put on here is the reminders. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste in a bit of code. And this will start as our initial data source. Now it's going to be able to expose this data. Start by creating a grid by going to the div. And we're going to use HTML5 custom data binders. So we're going to give it the data dash role attribute. Set this to grid. Next, we need to be able to bind the data to it. So let's do data dash bind. Give a type of source in here and specify the reminders. And lastly, we need to be able to bind this view model to the page. Let's do that by doing kendo.bind. Using jQuery, we're going to select the body. We're going to pass in our view model. Let's fire this up. You can see that the data is bound now. Now we want to be able to add in reminders. Let's go back to our index view. Let's create a couple inputs. First, do a type of text. Next, we're going to have a data rule. of date picker. And the last one we'll do is a type of button. And we'll give this a value of add reminder. Now let's create properties for this to bind to. So we're given a name value property. We'll set this to an empty string. Let's do a date value property. We'll set this to a new date, which we'll default to today. And let's do an add reminders function. And here, this is where we're going to put the logic to add the reminders. Inside here, we're going to do this.get reminders. Why we do this.get reminders is because we're going to get an observable version of the array. This allows us to update the grid on the fly. Now let's push in the changes that we're going to get from those text boxes. So we pass a name, do this.get name value. Do date this.get date value. And finally, let's bind these values to the inputs. So data-bind, set the value to date and value. In our date picker, we're going to do data-bind, set the value property also to date value. And then in our button, we're going to do data-bind, we're going to bind this to the click event. So I do this is you pass in like you would an anonymous object, click, do add reminders. Let's fire this up and see if it worked. So let's say pick up milk today, add a reminder. And I can see that it was added. I'll have this code posted up on the Learn to Lyric GitHub account. And thanks for watching.